Hello everyone, Vickers Town Videos here. Today I'm doing a review of the brand new 2022 Thomas Wooden Railway Brendam Docks. Just like Tidmouth Sheds and Knapford Station, Brendam Docks came in this extra cardboard box and there's custom Thomas Wooden Railway tape on top. Here is the box once that extra cardboard box has been removed and just like the other ones this looks very very professional. It looks quite interesting and I am very curious to see how tall that cranky is. One side of the box has the Thomas Wooden Railway logo and the other side has a picture of a layout which incorporates everything included in this wave of the new Wooden Railway line. The back of the box shows you what is included and it also shows you all of the features of Brendam Docks. Here is the inside of the box and we can see here there is a booklet to show you how to put this together. And everything is very neatly laid out inside the box. And I'm very happy because I see no plastic packaging at all. It is all cardboard. The only piece of plastic packaging I can see here is the little bag that the screws are in. And the fact that I see screws, this is telling me that adult assembly is required with this toy. Brendam Docks has been removed from its packaging and it looks absolutely splendid. It looks marvellous. I have to say I am very, very impressed with this. It looks absolutely amazing and the features on this set are just remarkable. Let me go through them right now. But just before I do, I just want to remind everyone that adult assembly is required with this. So if you are young, do not try and put this together because tools can be very, very dangerous. This is the kind of work that's best left to an adult. First of all, let's look at Cranky the Crane. And as you would imagine, there is articulation in this crane. You can see that he moves side to side and this handle also works to lower and raise his magnet there. And Cranky in general looks really, really nice. And similar to Tidmouth Sheds and Knapford Station, there's a small bit of exposed wood. So maybe some people won't like that. Personally, it doesn't really bother me. I suspect the reason that is there is to remind people that this is indeed made of wood in case people might get it mixed up with the plastic. That's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong, but I think it is just to remind people that there is wood incorporated in this piece. And now we're going to send Percy on a bit of a daredevil adventure here. Push him in there over those little humps and put him in there. And now we'll do something pretty fancy with Cranky. Cranky's magnet can be lowered here. Try and do this one hand. There we go. He's hooked on and then pull him up again. And there we go. Cranky can raise Percy up into the air or any other engine. So there. If you had Thomas, you could kind of recreate a creaky cranky type moment. Something like that. Now, I must point out this arm here does not move. That is rigid. That is fixed. That does not move. So don't try and move it because you will end up breaking the toy. But I am very impressed with this piece. There is so much playability with this piece. It's absolutely amazing. And I'll just show you a sort of size gauge for this piece of what exactly fits on it. Unfortunately, I do not own any tender engines, so I cannot check for size. But what I can tell you is that Annie and Clarabelle fit on this piece. They do fit. That is the maximum length that will fit on this. You couldn't put anything bigger on this. So maybe they are the same length as James or Edward or maybe Gordon. I honestly don't know. So if you have Annie and Clarabel and you have a tender engine, then you'll know what size roughly they are or if they're similar to the tender engines. But what I can tell you is that they fit on that piece. And in here, there is an extra piece for Cranky. It is a diesel 10 pinchy type of a thing. So if we go up here. There we go, attach it on. That's an extra different thing for Cranky to use. And I'll show you it in action now. You can see there that Cranky is able to lift engines with this. You can see Percy's off the ground. So he is able to lift engines with this. Now, 
Again, Percy is a tank engine. Maybe tender engines won't manage as well. Just drop Percy there. Oh, sorry, Percy. Um, go over here and we'll grab this thing of balloons. Bring Cranky's arm down a bit more. And get the grabber thing. Put it around there. There you are. And then wind Cranky's arm here. And you can lift it up. And then if you want, you can bring it over and drop it into Bulstrode or something. But yeah, more different things to be doing with Cranky the Crane because he has that claw as well as just his normal magnet. Next, we'll have a look at Bulstrode. And I have to say, Bulstrode is much bigger than I was expecting. I thought he'd be half this size. If we just bring over Annie and Clarabelle here as a bit of a size reference, put them right up against the back of him there. That's how big he is. He is really, really large, and this engine carrier thing that Cranky has actually fits onto Bulstrode. You can see it keys in there, so it's not going to fall off or anything. Although Percy does look quite scared. But Bulstrode can carry that quite easily, and even then you could get Percy. If I take him out of this thing. You could even just put him in there if you want to, and look how much space he has. There really is a lot of space inside Bulstrode. You know, you could put cargo in as well and put in that thing also. There's a lot of room inside Bulstrode. He really is quite large. And the really nice part about him, there's wood. There is a bit of wood there and there's a bit of wood there. At least it's something. Because if that wood wasn't there, this would be completely plastic. Because that's plastic and this is plastic. And of course that bit is as well. So, at least there is a small bit of wood on Bulstrode. I don't know if Bulstrode can float or not, and I am not going to try it out, because I would imagine that Bulstrode could get damaged if he got wet. And there's also space at the back of Bulstrode to put one of those small plastic things. And I should point out, you can also put one on Cranky as well. Honestly, there is just one thing that bugs me about this set, and it bugged me about Knapford as well. And you're looking right at it. This. Similar to Knapford, this is completely plastic. Complete plastic, no wood whatsoever, so that's just a bit disappointing in my opinion. I would have really liked it if even that undercarriage piece was made of wood, I think it would have made it a much better piece of rolling stock. So a little bit disappointing with that, but there's nothing else to complain about in this set. Here's a take along Cranky beside the new wooden railway one. And this makes me appreciate the wooden railway one even more. Because this shows you that the wooden railway one is tall enough. And the take along Cranky is really, really nice. So if the wooden railway one matches it in height, it actually beats it, in fact. It is slightly taller. I am very, very impressed with this aspect of the wooden railway Cranky. He is nice and tall, as Cranky the Crane should be. Brendam Docks also comes with two track adapters to change from Thomas Wood track to Thomas Wooden Railway track. And it also comes with this piece. I do have one of these in wood, but this is the first plastic one that I've got. Overall, I am very pleased with Brendam Docks. It is absolutely fantastic and I feel it was money well spent. And that's my review of the brand new 2022 Thomas Wooden Railway Brendam Docks. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.